Uh. Hmm. What's up, everybody? How are you today? Mm. Yeah. I'm feeling good. I like this shirt. My sister gave me this shirt because I don't buy my own stuff. I just, like, get gifted hand-me-downs because I'm a broke girl. Broke bitch. Plus, I'm, I'm kind of, like, minimalist, so, like, I don't replace anything and I don't own anything. So, I got a fresh white shirt, and we'll see how long that lasts, because uh, I, I have clothes that are like 10 years old. I do not care. But I look at Crispy today. I like it. It's nice. Look, it got little it got little trees and shit on it. I'm excited. Okay, so today's video is um, from last year with 11,000 views. Her name is Gabrielle Sparks, and that sounds super familiar. So, I don't know if I've seen some of her stuff before. Um, but she has like 2,000 subscribers. It says, um, disclaimer, I'm 21 years old. I'm still learning how to tattoo. Please do not tattoo yourself just because I did. This is purely just for content. I'm like, hey, I can respect that. Thank you for the disclaimer, you know. She's obviously an adult doing her own thing at her own risk. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I watched about, I don't know, maybe a minute of this and she said that this is her sixth tattoo she's done on herself, but apparently this is her 30th tattoo in general. So that means that she is tattooing out of her own home, which if you're doing it regularly, obviously you are getting paid for it because you cannot afford to just do 30 tattoos without resupplying at some point. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but she is an adult and um, I ain't your mama. Let's check it out. Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. I'm sure you read the title, so you know what's gonna happen right now. I'm gonna be tattooing myself. We're in the Gap okay. Gang, yes. This will be the six tattoos that I've done on myself yep. personally, but all together I think I have like 30 Tattoos There's something. a good amount. Like so today I'm going to be tattooing. This also, she's got her piercing right here. Those freak me out. Light is so bright. Like but they're I'm good, but they're bad. I don't know. Yeah. So let's see how it goes. This is the tattoo machine I will be using. It's a dragon hawk mast pin rotary. Yep. It's a really nice machine and it's really pretty standard nice. for what everybody's getting into. Yeah, so she's doing a shin tattoo. She's using a seven round liner and a three mag. And for this design, if you're um like if you're more experienced at tattooing, I I personally skip out on the mag if I can. If it's small enough and tight enough detail, I will completely skip on it. Turn down the machine so I can quickly go through and build up layers without damaging the skin super hard. It's a lot easier than changing out, stuff like that. Um, I do know that she is also putting white highlights in this. So unless she completely switches out her needles, she is probably going to get like a gray tone in her white highlights if you don't switch those out. Um, and she's using like basic um included type ink not like kurosumi or you know some like um more well-known brand kind of ink she's using like her basic mom ink or something like that so i'm gonna use the white to like highlight my tattoo yep. to make it pop a little more it doesn't make it pop it helps it last longer it's good stuff about to set it up and then I'll show you exactly what it looks like. I see she's got the plastic container. This is my station. I, I don't really know what that's for. Here's what I'm looking at. To make sure it's a cute little design. These are my two needles. So she is using this one's my liner. Okay, shader and liner. So she doesn't have a, a second liner set out. Petroleum jelly's good. Paper towel set out is good. Ink caps have petroleum jelly on the bottom. Um, it's all in paper towels, so that's not the best, but that's okay. She's got her gloves. It's set to a six. That, I'm not mad about her being 
at a six because that specific spot is so tight but thin that that ink just goes in right like butter. So, you know, if she's not like super fast at tattooing, then she needs her speed slowed down so that she can actually like pull her lines without just like cutting the skin because that that's kind of like the danger zone is like the ankle. It's super easy to just like cut, like actually like cut into your skin, so. So it could set on my skin um, so it doesn't rub off. Like Good deal. Sanitize it and then I put the stencil on. So I am ready to tattoo. She's got it also a little pretty bit centered, different. I think. I am 21 years old and I have been tattooing for about six months now. Please do this at your own risk. I'm not telling you to go and tattoo yourself at your home. Please don't do it if you're not 100% comfortable. Don't take my advice if you don't feel comfortable either. I like that she puts in that disclaimer and she, she's like, hey, don't, don't take what I say as law and whatever, you know, because same with me, I have experience, but I did, I, you know, I'm not like consistently tattooing or anything. I've been out of practice for like a couple of years. I'm just reflecting on my own experiences. So if you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. I like her disclaimer. I'm gonna use that too. My machine. So she is doing this on her, her bed or blanket. Yeah. So, you know, paper towels, ink is still gonna soak into that. Hopefully she's not tattooing other people. Ooh. I like how quiet those are too. All right, here we go, first line. Her gloves definitely don't fit. I did not see jelly on that. Oh, there you go. See, she got this. She's starting way at the top. A stretch is like always important, but for how tight this area is, it's not like as crazy. She's going over and over and over on that. I think that might be a blowout already, but if you're not like super um, used to tattooing, you don't really like know your depth perception so well. I mean, this is like long past straight lines in a very sensitive area. I know sometimes when I tattoo myself, they don't come out the best because I'm very aware of my own pain and I'm in control of it and I kind of puss out a little bit, but she seems like she's doing pretty good. She might have just missed that line a little bit, but that's okay. Like that is a really hard area to tattoo on your own. You really have to like straighten your leg out and bend all the way over. So it is tricky. It's also very hard to read what you're doing at that angle. I really wish she was like wiping, but you can also add extra jelly and dab it off and that, that makes it a lot easier to keep your stencil from smearing. You always tell when like, the ink just does not go in smoothly and you like watch somebody try to drill it in. Oof. This is like a really nice shot too to like really see how she's doing the whole process. Ooh, yeah, stretching's not the best. When you can actually see like the skin itself vibrating, you know it's not tight enough. You got some thin and thicker lines popping up. Yeah, this is when you need your hand, you're holding your machines to actually pull down and like spread out the skin too, because sometimes when you run that hand, it actually pushes the skin back together. So that lining's not coming out super, super clean, specifically because of her stretch. Cause that should be like butter. Oh girl, oh girl, where's the jelly? I am not seeing it. That would help out a lot too. Yeah, connecting your lines together um, 
without wiping is basically impossible. You will get little gaps in between everything. It's way harder to read. I'm pretty sure she's blown out a lot of this tattoo. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. I can't really tell if it's the stencil smearing or if she actually already has like the underlying ink under the skin through like a lot of it, but and those are all super long passes and I hate lots of thin lines right next to each other because it is so easy to just start going off track and like getting things closer and farther apart. It's really, really tricky to do. It's kind of funny because like the cleaner a design is, the harder it is to execute. And it's, you know, especially for something that's symmetrical, it's really easy to point out flaws on different sides and stuff. So this is, this is actually trickier. It's a small scale tattoo, but you have to imagine your, your working tool is this freaking big. So yeah, yeah. See those connecting lines right there where the leaves are. That's why you want to wipe for sure. Plus when you don't wipe and you don't immediately see what depth you're working with, you are going to get all those line variations because you don't know if you need to adjust it or not. So, you know, say she does a third of the tattoo and doesn't wipe it. And then, you know, gets back to it and half of the ink isn't even in there. Then you just have to go over it again and then you're re-damaging the skin. I always start with like a little baby line, test my depth just in case. And then I just work from there. You always want to do a little baby line, wipe it, see how good it looks, stick with that depth, change it depending where it is on the body. This should have been like butter. Something is not right. She might be working too fast and need to turn up her machine. Even though it is in a very thin tight area, she actually did kind of blow through it a little quicker. Um, but she definitely has like really thick lines and really thin lines. She might be like using her wrist a lot to pull lines, which you actually kind of want to like float more with your elbow. Fun tip. Some people don't do that, but I find that works best in controlling your machine. So it's really not clean, but. So this is the tattoo so far. I added a few yeah. dots to make it look I do like the dots. The dots were, were a good idea. So I'm going to add some white ink and then we will see the final project. This is the final project. I Where's put the white? Some white on the flowers. I mean like the leaves, stems, and then red. Okay. Well. I didn't really add too much white. But white hurts. <laughs> Yeah. It's bleeding just a little bit, but I went ahead and put ointment on it to seal the tattoo. Good point. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you want to see me tattoo some more, um, comment down below and Okay. Um I'm not crazy about like the whole setup. Um she definitely has like a lot of things right, so I'm like, that's cool. It's not the work that's where I've seen her from. Okay, so she, yeah, her videos have been, like, popping up in my feed. I just haven't watched them. All right, let's check this one out. She's got another video of her tattooing herself. Um, it's still from a year ago. She hasn't posted in, like, seven months, so we'll see if she is continuing her YouTube journey. We'll see. I really don't expect anything good until you've had, like, at least a few months in of professional apprenticeship tattooing. Hey guys, it's me again. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Alright, so setup is on an Amazon box. At least it's disposable. <laughs> Wait, so she has same 
same tub. You can't reuse those. That nasty. Girl, same, same. That's why I'm like, hey, give me your advice if you feel like I need it. Totally acceptable. If you're rude, half the time I ain't even gonna see your comments because the guidelines took them down. It's it's hilarious, because I'll get the notification and I'm like, somebody being sassy, and I can't even see it. I can't even respond to it. I'm like, where'd you go? You just throw out your hate, disappear. I don't know what to do with you. I'm, I'm cool with her tattooing herself. She is an adult. I'm. Don't think it helps you improve if you don't get an apprenticeship. Um, I think it makes bad habits if you do it for a long period of time and don't transition into something more professional. And you know, if you do wanna be more professional at some point and actually charge and make 250 an hour like some people I know, you can't really progress as much if you have to clean out all your little bad habits you've been doing for so long, it's gonna, gonna hinder your process of making a crap ton of money so that's why I'm like kind of against the whole I'm, I'm, I'm really not a fan of at-home tattooing unless you've already been licensed and you know I had hours and hours and hours and hours of experience under your belt because you know it's it's very harmful to other people if you don't do this right it is minor surgery they hmm but I don't know if she's still tattooing other people. Sorry you're getting hate, girl. People are bullies. This design is way, way more complicated. Yeah, so this is her leg, obviously. Um, much easier to tattoo than your arms, in my opinion. My legs, um, like from the knee down, very tight skin, more muscular, a lot easier to stretch and make tight and all that stuff. Uh, arms arms pivot they do a lot more the skin is stretchier i used to weigh like 215 pounds so my skin is like just thin and really loose so whenever i have a buddy tattoo my arms they absolutely hate me legs totally fine also it seems like she is um going for like the bold lining which is a lot easier to make clean in my opinion and adding the the small detailed lines with a smaller liner is a great idea i really like it that she's doing that that's very popular today in doing um like black work tattoos so she definitely has like this aesthetic going on that it's if that's her thing it is gonna like look really nice as an all cohesive piece of having her legs sleeved out. So I like that she's sticking with the same stuff. I don't think she's doing a, a, a bad job on this one, but we'll, we'll jump ahead and see how she's doing. Yeah, so she's still working on the bold lining. It looks like um, her stencil doubled up a little bit, which is totally fine if you just follow up to where, you know, the double line starts and then, you know, follow into that line you actually need to use then it'll all just make sense as you go through it. Doubling up sucks, but it is okay. I'm trying to look for like cat hair in her blanket or something. Like, you know, like the little pieces of lint that just like float around in there and get stuck in the fibers and get on your leg and all that stuff. Like, ugh, I'm really not a fan of tattooing on your back. I'm just not. It's more comfortable for sure, but it is harder to stretch. Um, it's way less sanitary. I've got like a shit ton of pets, so it is an awful idea if I was gonna tattoo in my room because it, I would have like basically like dead hamster size ball of hair in it by the time I'm done. I have a husky, he's a big boy. He's like 90 pounds and his hair is like super fine, like stuffed animal like fiber, like stuffing fine it's it like flies through the air it's crazy whenever i want to do a tattoo i have to put up a baby gate like from my breakfast nook to my kitchen baby gate completely decontaminate all of that space because i'm very proud of it and i want to so see it I didn't get it on camera but this is the final tattoo. nice That looks much better. 
This looks so much better than her last one. It is very, very peppery. And peppery is just like, it's not smooth shading, it's peppery, which is a very traditional thing, actually. And I like to do pepper shading when I tattoo. Um, that also just depends on the kind of needles you get. You can get more tight mag kind of deal. But um, it's not the smoothest shading, but the lining is a lot better. I, I like this one a lot more. Um, definitely see some spots where you need some white highlights in there. But, you know, when you're in control of your own pain, sometimes you don't want to do crap like that. <laughs> you really don't. It's not fun waiting for everything to swell up and then pop in some heavy white in there. It's, it's not a good time. But this looks much, much better compared to the, the first one. Um, definitely need some white in the middle of that flower because all of those little bulby little pollen bits they're all gonna turn into a big gray mush ball pretty soon so I am. big improvement a lot of fun to watch i really like that transition from like her 30th to like you know whatever that one was i don't know maybe she's still tattooing her buddies i don't know you're gonna get hate if you come out and say hey i'm charging when you know there are professionals who are starving artists who can't get clients in because People are stealing their clients. It is what it is. Um, if you want to tattoo yourself, save yourself some money. I totally get that. She she looks like she improves. She looks like she has like a very nice aesthetic that she's going for. She does say that she's going to shops and still supporting other artists, which is cool. Um, so you know, I ain't mad about that. I don't. I I rarely go out to get tattooed by other people because I do a lot of stuff myself. My husband get stuff by me so I save hundreds and hundreds of dollars doing it at home it's not the best product it's not the best quality because of that but it tattoos are expensive I totally get that um I think she did a, a big improvement for sure I ain't terribly mad at that I really wish she wasn't tattooing other people but you know I don't know I don't know her so I can't say that Sorry you're getting hate, girl. I, I feel you there. It, internet's a bitch sometimes. <laughs> but I think that was it for today. That was fun. That was a good time. What did you think? Let me know. Yeah. I like comments. I'm, I'm down for it. I'll have a conversation with you guys about, about these things. Let you know how I feel. Also, if you want to send me... Any tattoos that you have done and want me to review them, I think it would be really fun to do like a video on like my subscribers own tattoos and kind of like rate them or, you know, see if I can like pick through like your process and stuff like that. See how you did certain things or, you know, just tips and tricks kind of deal. I thought that would be a, a cool thing. Um, I'll put my Instagram here. So y'all can DM me because I'll see it. So, you know, it's all good. But that was my video for today. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. You just thought your hate disappeared. I don't know what to do with you.